Hello guys, it's crazy. I'm feeling inspired to vlog. Hold on, hold on. I'm obsessed with sunglasses. Like I started getting obsessed with sunglasses in like high school. Didn't have the ability to wear them because of my regular glasses and I finally got contacts and now I could look like this. I mean, last time I tried to do this, it fell. So let's just see what happens. I did my nails and I tried to do these little heart gems. Um, one of them fell off as I was sleeping because, you know, my dumb ass put the nails on at night. But anyway, so it is Wednesday, July 7th. Um, I'm in Westchester today. I am touring apartments this weekend and I'm um, going to be doing that with my sister. So I figured why not start a little vlog. I want to start donating the clothes that I have here in Westchester because I have so many. Like I didn't bring much of my wardrobe to the city, but I have so many clothes. And it's like if I move into an apartment, the less clothes I have that I just don't need, the better and easier it is going to be to move. going to get some caffeine in my system and do my yoga. Uh, I have to run errands in Mount Kisco later and then I'm seeing a friend for dinner, so I'll try to vlog dinner for sure. It's gonna be more of a weekend vlog, but I wanted to start it now. Okay, I'm driving, so I'm gonna go. Oh, this is literally giving me life. So, um, Duncan has a $2 medium iced sunrise batch coffee. A bitch doesn't want a medium iced coffee sometimes. Sometimes I want a small. So, um, if I order in the store, which I just did, I was like, hi, can you do the, like, you know, the $2 medium, but like, can you just put mine in a small because I don't want as much coffee? She was like, sure. At the end of the day, I'm saving the business some coffee and money. Anyway, I got almond milk and then shots of vanilla and, or shots of coconut and almond. Mm -hmm. Trying to wean myself off of the liquid sugar and the, like, I don't get mocha swirls often, but sometimes I do get the liquid sugar, but now I'm trying to adjust to just like milk and flavor shots. And my friend, Maddie, I don't think she's ever been in a vlog, but hopefully if I see her this weekend, she will be. Um, she recommended Bird's Bees Cuticle Cream. I did a nail modeling thing in like December and it was like applying like 10 different nails with little like stickies and they had to rip them off. So it made my nails like really, really like short and like break and brittle and flaky. And I was like, okay, like after a few months, you know, they'll come back. But then it was winter. And because they were so short, I was like, let me put more fake nails on. That was so dumb. Like I, all the nail glue, like it really fucked them up. Cause I was like, they're so short, they're so ugly. I don't want them to look like this. Let me use my fake nails. But then my fake nails obviously made that worse. I don't know why I did that. I think I knew that would happen too. I was like, but I just want the short term satisfaction. Long term, now it's July and they keep fucking up. But this cuticle cream is gonna help. I do coconut oil sometimes and I haven't done fake nails in a very long time. But also with my invisible races, I have to pull them out of my mouth and then it kind of like, fucks up my nails a little bit. So it's my little update with my errands and I'm going to go home now. So um, I'm a pet mom and I just picked up my hamster's food, completely ran out of treats and running low on bedding. Actually, they might not even have uh, so I had to get a bad brand today, whatever, but that's what I got. The clip before this was me doing my makeup. It was a time lapse because I was doing this errand and now I'm heading to a massage place called Footsie Reflexology in Mount Kisco and I'm doing their 30 minute foot reflexology plus a 15 minute neck and shoulders. I've only been there once before. I've only ever gotten a massage once in my life and it was from there. That was like a full body, I think 45 minute Swedish massage and then this is the foot and the neck and shoulder heading to massage truly an amazing experience it's a good thing i didn't plan like back to back massage and then dinner because you need a second so they gave me a little hair clip to put my hair up and they didn't take it back after like my feet feel like air right now. I'll put the name or the website of where I went either on the screen or down below. So I got the um, 30 minute foot reflexology and then I did the 15 minute neck and shoulder. So yeah, that's what this little clippy do is from. My friend and I are getting a dinner in town too and it's like walkable from here. We're going to exit for food hall. You get there and they have so many different food type stations like Italian, Asian, regular burgers, seafood. So they have a bunch of different little spots and yeah, um, we're getting dinner. That's where we're going. This is the QR code.
triple ice almond milk. Hello, good morning. It is Friday. It is July 9th and I'm touring apartments with my sister. She just toured her school downtown. She is going to be going to Pace for grad school in the fall. And so she just did her tour and now she's coming up to meet me. And then we're gonna go tour a few apartments today. We don't know exactly how many it's gonna be, how long it's gonna take. We're starting at noon. I have a feeling it'll go to like three. And then we're probably gonna get food. And then yeah, we're gonna see how it goes from there. But I probably won't be like vlogging my apartment tours. I've never toured apartments in my life. So I don't think I'm gonna vlog it. Um, just gonna be a very interesting learning experience and yeah, um, I just wanted to update you guys because I haven't since Westchester. So for lunch, Catherine and I went to Delice et Saracon, an all-vegan French restaurant with a lot of gluten-free options, which is what my sister needed. So I ordered a crepe and this is what I got instead of the one I actually ordered. I got to keep both because they messed up, but this was potatoes, tomatoes, and cheese. And the cheese in this one was really, really good. What I actually ordered was this one and I'll put the names of each one on the screen. And it said like vegan goat cheese. Uh, walnuts it had vegan chicken inside and then it was like drizzled with agave so it was almost like sweet in a way which was really weird i almost wish i had the other one but instead of potatoes and tomatoes i had that cheese and then the chicken from this one that would have been like the ideal combination my sister also got a crepe but it was like salmon and other stuff and then for dessert i got this chocolate almond milk cake which was not gluten-free but it was very good and then in addition to her crepe my sister got these truffle oil fries which tasted really good and then a salad with a bunch of things in it yeah, that's true. Oh my god, this is like, yeah, it's exceptional every day. My ass. Because <laughs> that's the same that our house rules. It's exceptional every day. She's on first. Oh, really? Catherine and I have been touring. It's hot and stressful. <laughs> oh, look at it. I know. I know yours is raspberry. We're at Mickey's Spillane's. <laughs> So I'm at this with Urban Dessert Lab, and as you can see on that sign, everything is vegan. Topping sausage cones. Tyler and I will show you our creation. Yes, um. Oh, it's twist. So classic. He's coming really close to the camp. So there's like vanilla chocolate. You choose your saucy, peanut buttery, crumbly. I'm excited. Sprinkles, sprinkles. And we're trying each other's, right? Oh, where's he going? Ooh. Oh wow, it's really pretty. It's looking crazy. It's really pretty. Oh, it looks so good. 